Yeah. I'm like, um, is it better if I just, I wasn't, I didn't like think all this, but I was like fixing my hair and I was like, does it look better when it's been like manufactured? I think it does a little bit. Better than if I was just like, hey, <laughs> I just got up, you know? My sleeping pattern has been weird lately. I've just been sleeping when I'm tired and pushing it, like standing up, working. Um, I figured out two days ago that you can breathe underwater. I was breathing underwater. I was breathing water into my lungs and then breathing it out. And it burned like shit because I was in a swimming pool and there was chlorine in it. And I could feel the chlorine, like the toxin, like the just the burning it burned because the one because i think because my lungs haven't been taking a lot of water in so fluid in general was like new for it but the it was the chlorine was burning the shit so i started thinking our lungs are built to breathe in salt water salt like a saline um i, I guarantee it 100 percent positive so what was happening was i breathed in this water into my lungs i was breathing it in part way and it was just burning a lot. It was burning like so bad in this chlorine in the swimming pool in this hot tub. That, and then I would come up above the water and breathe it out as I came out, like breathe all this water out of my nose and then breathe air in. And it was cool. It was like, but if the lungs expecting one, it gets the other. It it, it like uh, quivers. But then what would happen was that every time I would go underwater, submerge, my body would be. It, more likely to breathe in the water like my nose would just I'd feel it open like in part way down and it's like a vacuum like you draw it in it doesn't like go in without you doing it like you can draw it in and then I, I found um hold on man I'm dehydrated right now there's a gland in the back of your throat that um, when you breathe in water it empties the water into this gland and the glands like a like a tube that fills up like I, I felt it slowly filling up with water and then it got to a point and it dumped the water maybe forward into my stomach. It was like swallowing, but it was a different gland than the throat. It was like above and behind the throat. Um, and that's handy. And then I was thinking, okay, when you take water in and you breathe it out, I think you're producing a lot of methane because with all the hydrogen and water. Like there's not, I mean, there's hydrogen in the air, but there's not a lot of hydrogen in the air. There's like some hydrogen in the air. So you're always producing some methane, but in the water, I think you produce a lot of methane, a little bit of carbon dioxide when you breathe out. Um, I don't suggest you try it. I mean, anyone can try it. You might cough. I was just so relaxed that I was able to, because I feel the cough, like my body would want to cough, but I would just hold the water and let it accumulate and swallow it because it was like you know the body is very well maintained so yeah man we're definitely our lungs are built to breathe in air and water it's it's quite a revelation i'm looking forward to getting to the beach and and practicing this in the ocean or but i was thinking maybe i could just like make some salt water here and, and breathe it in a little bit it feels really good. Like once I started doing it, I wanted to keep doing it. It felt really good, really good in the lungs. But that chlorine was like, ah, it was kind of like being thirsty and drinking chlorinated water. Like it's not good, not like great for you, but it's still like a water that you can drink and your body can pure. And then I was like, the ins, like all day yesterday, I was like, the inside of my body is a, uh, like a. Uh, what would you call it, like a purification device or something? I felt like the inside of my body was um, like a bottle of Lysol or something. I'm really dazed. I just woke up like 20 minutes ago, so...
There you go. A little bit of emoting. Have a good day. See ya.